Okay, hi guys. This is free PT class provided by CCA. And I also want to draw your attention towards the other free services that CCA provides, which is free um, Nati and IELTS class as well. Nati is offered in four languages, which is Nati Hindi, Nati Urdu, Nati Punjabi, and also Nepalese. Okay. There's also um, migration advice that's given to students along with free student visa extension and stuff. So if you guys are interested, you can definitely give a call to CECA. Okay, for now, let's start um, with our PT class. We'll start from where we, uh, we stopped yesterday. So we'll resume the class. We were discussing about um, speaking describe image. So I would go over the basics again, that what is speaking, what is PTE. Um, let me just pull out the slide. Okay, so um, today we are going to discuss PT speaking and this is the most important module of your PTE because if you see the um, important question slide that which questions are the most important, you will see that two of those questions are from speaking which is you repeat sentence and read aloud because they give a lot of points to your listening and towards your reading module. Okay, um, and the other questions also come under the moderately scoring question, which is your retail lecture and your described image. So most of the questions from speaking are actually important uh, for you, especially if you're aiming for eight plus. Okay, now this is the marking criteria. As I mentioned, there are four questions which are very important. They provide about 70 to 80% of the total score. So repeat sentence is what provides about 40 to 41 points towards speaking and 25 points towards your listening module, okay? Write from dictation is from your writing module actually and it's your last question of PT. And it will give about 30 to 35 points for listening and uh, 20 to 25 it used to, but now it's about 35, 30 to 40 points are awarded towards writing because the number of questions have increased for write from dictation, okay? Now next is your read aloud, which is our first question of PT um, in your speaking module where you get 20 to 25 points for speaking and about 30 to 35 points for um, reading. Again, reading fill in the blanks, which is one question from your reading module, gives about 30 to 35 points for reading and 20 to 25 points for um, writing. Now the points differ, like for example, our read aloud giving 20 to 25 points for speaking and 30 to 35 for reading. How does this happen? Even though 10 points are awarded per question for your speaking and uh, only five about five points are awarded towards reading and still your reading points are more. The reason is um, when you are taking your test, okay, for example, mm -hmm. you are taking your uh, speaking module and let me insert a slide. Okay. So let's say you're doing speaking module. So you have about six to seven question of your read aloud. So that will be equal to, let's say seven into 10, equal to 70 points. What is 10? Sorry? 10 is, what is 10? Seven uh, 10 points. Because five points for pronunciation, five points for fluency, remember? Each question. And content? Yes. So what about content? Content point is awarded towards your reading module. So there are three parameters in read aloud. Okay. 
Um, first one is your content, which doesn't have a fixed point. The next is your pronunciation, which gives you five full points. Then another point is um, your um, fluency, which gives you five points. So 10 points per question is awarded towards speaking. So that's equal to 70 points. Okay. Now next question is repeat sentence. Again, in repeat sentence, you have 10 to 12 questions. And again, same criteria, same parameter. So let's say you have 10 questions, not even 12. 10 into 10 is equal to how much? 100. So it's already 170 points. Then is your describe image. Then it's your retail lecture. So basically you're taking an exam for speaking about 250 to 300 points. And that will then be converted into 90 points. Okay. So um, don't get caught up in the number. You just have to realize which questions are important and how the points work and how much point you eventually get. So that's the background calculation that happens. So let's say of, of 70 divided by 300 and then multiplied by 100. So how much is it going to be? So that's how you get your points for your um, PT questions. Okay. Can I ask one question? I mean, it's just or not speaking. It's about reading. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Like, I mean, I'm always, I always feel that even after like a lot of practice, mm -hmm. my order paragraphs are like, I don't get more than two marks in that. So okay. I was like, is that very important? Or can I just like, it is, is somewhat a important. Yes. But um there must be something that you're missing out there must be something that you're not paying attention because they are a bit tricky but once you get to know that how to solve it that's it like it will be very easy you'll pick out things sometimes you don't even need to read the full sentence to make sense out of all all the things so always when you do reorder paragraph i always suggest that sometimes it looks very clear that okay this is the first second yeah. third fourth this is how the sentence are going to be. But instead of intuition that this is what it is supposed to be, even if you have solved it correctly, try to make how they are linked with the formula. Okay. What will happen is it's going to help you for some other question, which you don't know that how the sentences are going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For example, noun and pronoun. We have discussed this before. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just asking because I, I mean, I'm practicing it a lot, but I'm still getting like one five, two one six. Yes, that's what you have to do. When you check your answers, okay, always check how they have linked. Okay, all these websites free to practice, they give you answers, right? So when you try yeah. to find out that how they have linked for next question, you will be more aware. Okay, in the previous question, they linked it through the time, which I didn't pay attention. So now I need to pay attention on the time as well. Okay, always find the formula once you see the answer. Obviously, I myself, I think reorder was the one question that I was really worried about. For I think that's yeah. the only question that I practiced enough before exam. So I can understand what you're trying to say because I went through the same thing. But this is what I, I found the pattern. Okay. Yeah. How they are linked okay. Okay. and I got the answer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, no worries. Okay, so understood like why the marks are different, why some questions are giving more points in one module and lesser points in another module. Okay, because it completely depends on how many in total number you're getting from all the questions. All right, um, we talked about personal introduction yesterday that it's, it doesn't give you marks, but it is still important in a way. First, it's a warm up thing for you that you get to speak for a bit and then it helps the computer to adjust its software. Okay. Now next is speaking question, which we have five questions here. Four of them are your most important question. And one is just important because it doesn't give you much points, but it's very easy and very quick to practice. Okay, um, today we will be doing some of describe image because yesterday we practiced graph. Today we'll be doing some other forms as well 
of the scribe image. Um, apart from that, we'll do repeat sentence, retail lecture. And if we have time, we'll also do answer short questions, which is easy. We should have time for that. Okay. Now, what are the other questions that is important for speaking? None, because you don't get point from anywhere else except speaking and you like, and it gives points to other modules. So this is the point structure which speaking contributes towards other module. Um, 90 out of 90 towards itself because you don't speak anywhere else. Reading, we'll, you'll get about 35 points from here and listening about 40 to 45 points depending on number of questions. Now it's about 45 points because um, repeat sentences are more. Okay. Now this was the tip that I was giving yesterday that um, what things are important when you're attempting your speaking module. First is the placement of mic, which should be at the tip of the nose or at your chin. This is the most important. Next, never stay quiet for three seconds because if at any point you stay quiet for three seconds, the microphone stops recording. So your answer will not be recorded and you'll get zero for that question. Okay, um, never correct yourself in speaking. If you have said something wrong, that's fine, just move on. But if you go back and correct yourself or if you correct even that one particular word, you will miss more points than required, okay? Um, all right, we did read aloud yesterday. So let's move on to the questions. So today we'll be de doing describe image. And I believe Kimberly, you have the template as well, right? This, this yes. one, yes, the yes, template. Yes. okay. So we did graph yesterday. Um, Rahul was with us. Um, today we will be doing process cycle maps and all the other uh, ones of the describe image. Okay. Okay, it's very similar to your um, bar graph. Rahul, do you remember what we did yesterday? So we do the same thing here. Um, just the thing is instead of line chart, we use the words that's written here, okay? Again, you don't have to explain that, okay, um, this represents both parent working and it's about 15% more than lack of school discipline because the more you try to explain the more you pause and hesitate so again you'll go the same pattern on the screen i can see 25 percent 15 percent and 15 percent on the screen i can see five percent and 40 percent on the screen i can see upbringing on the screen i can see both parents working on the screen i can see lack of school discipline on the screen i can see peer group pressure on the screen i can see bullying on the screen i can see maximum is 14 percent on the screen i can see minimum is five percent Okay, so these are the things that you have to include. Okay. Um, Kimberly, you can do this one. Okay, you can talk about colors. I think you already know how to do it. So let's do this. Let's start with you. So take your time. You can start any oh, so with this one. Okay, right, this one. I have got an image in front of me. I have got 14 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can I can see several trends are emanating in the picture. On the screen, I can see different shapes, size, colors, and numbers. Also on the screen, I can see different color, green, blue, red, and purple. Uh, also, um, on the screen, I can see um, same. Pie chart. Yes, yes. On the screen, I can see Merlot sales. Mm -hmm. On the screen, I can see. Um, Say the numbers. 
on the screen i can see 28190 Mm-hmm. Uh, on the screen, I can see thirty-two thousand three hundred five. Mm-hmm. On the screen, I can see thirty-five thousand five hundred eighty-three. Mm-hmm. On the screen, I can see thirty-three thousand three hundred seventy-three. On the screen, I I can see act. New These are names. States. Yes, state. I. image in this image i can see uh, merlot sales and uh, they show the sales in different states in victoria in, in australia that is act nsw qld and vic they are color coded in maroon uh, green purple and blue mm-hmm. and ac has sales of 32305 mm-hmm. nsw has sales of 28190 VIC has sales of thirty three thousand three seventy three, and QLD has sales of thirty seven thousand five eighty three. In conclusion, this image is very informative and knowledgeable to me. Yes, very good. Okay, next. Okay, this is for you, Kim. Uh. This is an interesting image in front of me. Let me have a closer look at this image. In this image, I can see uh, two uh, pie, uh, pie gra- diagrams with world water distribution. Mm-hmm. There is 98% of the water is salt water and only 2% is fresh water. Out of the 2% fresh water, 87% is ice and 1% is in lakes and rivers and 12% is ground water. The fresh water is color coded in purple and the ice is color coded in light blue. The ground water is also darkish purple which is similar to the salt water color coding and the rivers and lakes is like a cream color. In conclusion this in, this pro- image provides information about the water distribution throughout the world. Okay yeah. There are few hesitation but very good. Uh you're doing quite well. So just bit more practice is needed and i think you'll be fine okay um rahul this one is for you i have got an image in front of me uh, let me have a closer look at the picture while having a closer look i see several times are emerging in the pictures on the screen i can see different shape size color also on the screen i can see different color uh, on the screen i can see um, morocco income from uh, virus economic sectors 2003 on the screen i can see many color on the screen i can see fishing 30% on the screen i can see petroleum 14% on the screen i see i can see uh, workers remittance 21% on the screen i can see industry 24% on the screen i can see tourism 26% on the screen i can see agriculture 2% overall the picture is very informative okay good okay let's do another one line chart is very similar to bar graph so we wouldn't do that we will do flow chart now here there are nothing much 
So what you have to talk about? You have to talk about color. So you can say, I can see a battery. I can see battery is gold and black in color. I can see there are different red colors arrow. I can see the arrow are pointing from battery to the bulb. I can see there is the plus sign. I can see simple circuit with light. So basically whatever comes to your mind, just keep talking about it. Okay, we'll start with Kim Yu. Uh, just do this one, the first one. Kimberly, this? Yeah, and yes, then yeah. We'll start with Rahul. Yes. This is an interesting image in front of me. Let me have a closer look at the given random picture. The given random picture is a process diagram of a simple circuit with light. In the diagram, I can see a battery which is black and golden in color. It's got positive and negative currents. Mm -hmm. The positive attached to the bottom portion of the light, which is silver in color and the negative current flows in a rectangular manner into the uh, white portion of the light. And these two interact together and become, and the light illuminates. And the light is white in color and it's like a, it's mm -hmm. like a cattle, oh shit. And um, it's, uh, it, is, uh, it is the way in which we light up our homes in, Sorry, I messed it up. Yes, overall, the picture is very informative. Or you can repeat the information. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's fine as well. Okay, next. This is for you, Rahul. All you have to do is read what's written here, and you have to say that it's a process cycle. Okay. Don't worry about if this is too hard to read. Just say this is a process cycle of raw tea and ripe tea. I can see different arrows. I can see pan frying. I can see rolling. I can see drying under the sun. So say like this. Okay. You can go whenever you're ready. I have got an F, uh, in front of me. I can, I can see... I can see the process of future raw tea and uh, deep tea. I can see many errors. I can see pen flying. I can see rolling. I can see drying under the sun. Mm -hmm. On the screen, I can see fermentation bio mode. I can see on um, competition. I can see Mm -hmm. Completions. I can see egging by storage. I can see with vintage pure earth raw tea. Okay, just say vintage raw tea. Different. Yes, overall the picture is very. Can I, can I try this one? I'm a little confused. Yes, okay. yes, go ahead. This is an interesting image in front of me. Let me have a closer look at the given random picture. The given random picture is a process diagram of Pu'er raw tea and ripe tea. In the first stage, there is pan frying, which, uh, which activates the enzymes. Then there is rolling and drying under the sun. After it's dried under the sun, the tea is separated, loose tea and Pu'er raw tea. The loose tea is fermented by mold and it becomes a loose ripe tea and it compressed into Pu'er ripe tea. And the raw tea is aged by storage and it becomes vintage to a raw tea. In conclusion, this is a very interesting image for me. Okay. Yep. That's good. Okay. Next one. Okay. This is for you again, Kimberly. Okay, whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I'll just read through this, yeah. Uh, this is an interesting image in front of me. Let me have a closer look at the given random picture. The given random picture is a process diagram of a life cycle of a frog. First, the adult frog uh, lays eggs on a leaf, and these eggs uh, become into smaller tadpoles, and which are uh, 
elongated in shape. Then the tadpoles become tadpole with lungs after a certain amount in time. After the lungs develop, the tadpole gets legs. And after the legs develop, the tadpole becomes a froglet. And the froglet uh, remains in, uh, it became, it remains a froglet for some time and then it becomes a young frog. The young frog grows and becomes an adult and this cycle keeps on continuing. In conclusion, this is a very informative uh, image about the life cycle of a frog. Yeah. Okay, just one. Okay, this one is for you, Rahul. Just talk more about colors here because there is less information given. Okay? Okay, okay. whenever you're ready. I have got an image in front of me. I have got what is second to talk about these pictures. Uh, on the screen, I can see different shape and color. One minute, Rahul. Say the full thing. Let me have a closer look at the picture while having a closer look so that you are in a flow of talking it every time. Okay? okay. Yeah, let's start again. I have got an image in front of me. I have got 14 seconds to to talk about this picture. Let, let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can see several trends are emerging in the pictures. On the screen, I can, I can see different shapes, size, colors, and number. Also on the screen, I can see different, uh, different shapes, color. On the screen, I can see uh, flow chart. On the screen, I can see he yes. said, draw this blast on her memory. It may not be under sex. On the screen, I can see, and see many color, blue, orange, green, sky blue. On the screen, I can see sleep. Yeah. On the screen, I can see nutrition. I, on the mm -hmm. screen, I, I can see exercise. On the screen, I can see 100% well-being. Overall? Overall, the picture is the very informative. Okay. Yes. Good try. Okay. Picture is very similar. Okay. What do we do here? Do you remember, Kimberly? Um, yeah. I, mean, I have to look. Uh, yeah. Yes. So... We have to talk about the name of the continents or at least name of some countries. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, we'll start with you, Kimberly. Rahul, this is your first time. So just write name of nine countries. Any nine countries that you think you can say easily. For example, India, Japan, China, America. Australia, South Africa, any nine countries in name of at least five continents, which is Asia, North America, South America, Africa, Europe. Okay. So keep the name of these five countries. So whenever you say on the screen, you can say on the screen, I can see Asia, Africa, and America. On the screen, I can see Australia, India, and China. On the screen, I can see Japan, Nepal, and Russia. Okay. So just write the name of these countries. Okay. okay. Um, we'll first start with Kimberly. So you can start whenever you're ready. I have got an image in front of me. Mm -hmm. I have got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can see several trends are emerging in the picture. On the screen, I can see different shapes, size, color, and numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, also on the screen, I can see 
on the screen i can see on the screen i can see uh, india australia mm -hmm. africa and on the screen i can see america japan china and on the screen i can see canada united kingdom and new zealand mm -hmm. on the screen i can see uh, just say one of this number 50 million uh, 15 million 25 million and on the screen i can see 10 millions 1 million Over and on the screen i can see uh, overall the picture is very informative yeah that's fine good okay, can i just try this yeah can i just try this yeah 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 uh, this is an interesting image in front of me let me have a closer look at the given random picture the given random picture is an image of the world map with all the seven continents as asia africa north america south america atlanta europe and australia uh, i guess this uh, map shows the population uh, density in different continents in uh, the asian continent i can see china and india that have a population of over 1 billion and the europe continent has a population of around 50 million australia has a population of around 1 million and uh, the other continents have a uh, even a uh, very roughly the civil population in conclusion this is a very interesting image in front of me okay yes very good okay now what we are going to do we are going to do repeat sentence okay so what happens in repeat sentence is that you hear a sentence an audio clip and you have to repeat the sentence okay um this is your marking criteria again same three parameters which is content pronunciation and oral fluency these two basically means you're not pausing and hesitating anywhere and you're pronouncing the words correctly now content points are fixed in terms of repeat sentence that means 3 is the maximum that you can get if you have more than 50% of the words in correct sequence if it's less than 50% but it's um it's around 50% then you get two points less than 50% that means at least maybe a couple of words from the sentence then you get one point for the content zero if you didn't speak anything from the sentence okay now content points are awarded towards listening and this is how you get the points okay um how do you do it as soon as you hear the sentence most of the people just listen carefully and try to understand what they are saying because most of the time it's going to be information for example um mr smith is going to be late for class today or engineering building is located in southwest direction so they are trying to give you some of these kind of information so if you focus more you can understand what they are trying to say if not you can use the initial strategy that means you can write the first letter of each word trying to guess what they are of like what they are okay otherwise you can take notes of some important words and then speak use them while you're speaking the sentence because grammar points are not very important for content the important point are of the most important words okay now um let's say for sentence is today is first day of my pt class so your important word would be today first and class so three of these words will be important so when you are trying to say your sentence if you have these three words most likely you will get full points for your um sentence okay so you can either say today is my first class you will still get full points even if you have missed some words here and there okay or you can say today is the first class of my university still you will get full points for your repeat sentence so it doesn't matter what extra words you add to the sentence as long as it has the keywords that is supposed to be in the sentence okay now if you forgetting even one word you should always make up the second half 
okay so instead of saying today first class what i will say today is my first class of the university or today is my first class at the college and then you will get full points or you can say today is my first class and black and blue is my favorite color okay what happens is when you come to speaking scoring it doesn't say that it has to be content related it only says that you have to be fluent so it doesn't care about what content you're using okay okay any question regarding this okay let's start practicing the first sentence is for kimberly you so just be ready i'm gonna play a sentence ready yes ma'am it's not playing from here you know Did you know that in PT read aloud? You yes, you say computer and black and blue is my favorite color. Okay. 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 I'm gonna I will practice. Yes, I'm going to play another sentence. Try to get at least one or two words from the sentence. Okay. Can download the lecture handouts from the course. Let's see. Students can download the lecture handouts from the course website. Okay. Anything? Rahul, did you hear anything from this sentence? Download the lecture of the. Mm -hmm. Download the lecture of the. Just say download the lecture and black and blue is my favorite color. Okay. Okay, ma'am. You will still get full speaking points, 10 points from per question. Okay, next one is for okay. you, Kimberly. If she doesn't speak the language, she's not going to sit around and wait for a translator. If she doesn't speak the language, she is not going to sit around and wait for a translator. If she doesn't speak the language, she's not going to sit around and wait for a translator. Okay, next one. The university supplies a number of scholarships for those who have specific goals. I say? Yes. The university supplies a number of scholarships to those who have specific goals. Okay, good. Next is for you, Rahul. Just any word is okay. 
not this one. The university supplies a number of scholarships for those who have specific goals. Next one. For now. Fishing is a sport and a means for surviving. Yes, Arthur. Uh. Okay, listen to it again. At least one word. You listen carefully the first word. That's easy. Fishing is a sport and a means for surviving. Okay, any word? word? Fishing. Fishing, yes. Fishing, sport, and surviving are the main words. So fishing and black and blue is my favorite color. Okay, ma'am. Next, again, Rahul, try to catch at least one or two words. Okay. The aim of the work presented could be formulated as follows. Yes. Uh -huh. um, repeat yes. again, okay. please. Yes. The aim of the work presented could be formulated as follows. The name of the work. Black and blue, my favorite color. Okay, name. It wasn't name. It was aim, work. Okay. Work. Aim and work. Okay. Yes. And yes, black and blue is my. My English is not good, ma'am. <laughs> okay, that's why at least try to get one or two words. I'm not saying the full sentence, but even if you get okay. two words, it's still going to give you some points towards listening. Okay. And if you say, and black and blue is my favorite color, then full points for speaking. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Applicants for the course preferably have a degree on English or journalism. Did I say it? Yes, go ahead, Kimberly. Applicants for the course preferably have a degree in English or in journalism. Okay, yes, correct. We'll play again. Applicants for the course preferably have a degree on English or journalism. Okay, next one for you, Kimberly, again. Next time, we'll discuss the influence of the media on public policy. Time, we'll discuss the influence of the media on public policy. Yeah. Okay, next for you, Rahul. Yeah. Not this one. Next time, we'll discuss the influence of the media on public policy. Now. Since the problems we face are global. Yes, did you hear any word? Since the problem? Mm -hmm. And? And black and blue, my favorite color. <laughs> Just don't laugh, be confident. Okay? So you'll get full points. Okay, next one again. Try the next one. Need to find the global solutions. Okay, next one. Please come to the next seminar properly prepared.
please come there. Seven. Please come and. Please come. And. Uh, okay, listen. Seven. Again. Listen to it again. Please come to the next seminar properly prepared. Yes, Rahul. Please come to the seven. Mm. Mm. And? And black and blue, my favorite color. Okay, next one for you, Kimberly. CareerCode.com Usually, but not always, reviews provided and by a source of information. Usually, but not always, reviews provide a biased source of information. Okay, good. Next. Usually, but not always, reviews provided them by a source of information. Same one. The number of bankruptcies skyrocketed in the third quarter. The number of bankruptcies skyrocketed in, in the third quarter. Yeah. Yes, in this one, it plays the sentence and then it plays again for you to cross check. Okay, so it will play again. In whatever you said was correct, can you? The number of bankruptcies skyrocketed in the third quarter. Okay, next one for you, Rahul. Okay. We will study the following two pictures in the next lecture. Let me uh, repeat again, please. Yeah. We will study the following two pictures in the next lecture. We will be studying in. Mm -hmm. Prepare the next lecture. Next lecture, yes. Good. Another one. His objection to include scientific evidence has brought a lot of criticisms to him. He is a Okay, I'm playing it again. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, no problem. Just take your time. Just keep learning. His objection to include scientific evidence has brought a lot of criticisms to him. Okay, any word? Scientific. Mm -hmm. And black and blue is my favorite color. Okay. okay. Next one for you, Kimberly. As a student union member, we can influence the change of the university. As a student union member, we can influence the change of the university. Yes, good. Next. It will repeat again. As a student union member, we can influence the change of the university. The timetable for the new term will be available next week. The timetable for the new term will be available next week. Yes, good. Next for you, Rahul. 
Okay. Please read the first five chapters to prepare for next week's tutorial. Okay, did you hear anything? Please prepare the next lecture. Okay, yep, mm -hmm. and black and blue is my favorite color. Yes, so I can hear it again. Please read the first five chapters to prepare for next week's tutorial. Prepare the tutorial, black and blue. Internet color. Yeah, yeah, cool. Another one. Internet provides unusual opportunities for students and current events. Student and continents. Black and blue, my favorite color. Yes, good. Okay, next for you, Kimberly. Yeah. Under 12. I will be in my office every day from 11 to 12. I will be in my office every day from 11 to 12. Okay. Next one. He has a number of The university has a number of travel scholarships that students can apply for. The university has a number of travel scholarships that students can apply for. Yes. Good. The university has a number of travel Okay, this one for you, Rahul. Okay. Being a vegan means not consuming any animal product. Animal product? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Black and blue, my favorite color. Yes, good. consume I don't like cheese and tomato sandwiches on light bread and orange juice yes Rahul sandwiches and bread mm -hmm. yes and black and blue is my favorite color oh. For you, Kimberly. I don't like cheese and tomato sandwiches on white bread and orange juice. Please note the college laboratories will be closed for cleaning next week. Please note the college laboratories will be closed for cleaning next week. Yes, perfect. The college laboratories will be closed for cleaning next week. Next. 
To answer such a complex question with a simple yes or no is absolutely impossible. To answer such complex question with a simple yes or no is absolutely impossible. Yes, correct. Very good. Next one for you, Rahul. Okay. Students should take advantages of the internet before attending the lecture. Attending the lecture. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. Oh, man. Repeat. Okay. But you got main keywords. Good. Students should take advantages of the internet before attending the lecture. Attending the lecture. Mm -hmm. Black and blue, my favorite. In eighteen thirty. Yes, black and blue is my favorite color. Okay, another one. In eighteen thirty, periodicals appeared in large numbers in America. Large number of America. Mm -hmm. Black and blue is my favorite color. Yes, but say it in one go. Make it sound like one sentence. Okay. Okay. Another one. This is for you, Kimberly. In eighteen thirty. The Wigelity was interrupted while painting. Was interrupted while planning. I don't know. I just didn't hear the first part. Okay, let's hear it again. He would gel if he was interrupted while painting. It would gel if he was interrupted while planning. He would yell mm -hmm. if he was interrupted while painting. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Next okay. final one. Arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart to other parts of the body. Arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart to other parts of the body. Yes, good. Okay, so that's it for repeat sentence. Now we will be doing retail lecture. Okay, so what happens in retail lecture is you hear an audio, let me flip this up. Yes, you hear an audio which can be anywhere between 40 seconds to about two and a half, three minutes. And then you get 40 seconds to talk about the lecture. <laughs> what you have to do in this, uh, first, of course, understand the scoring. So your score, again, based on three same factors, which is content, pronunciation, and fluency. Pronunciation and fluency is awarded towards um, your speaking and content towards your listening module, which is this one. Okay. Now, what you have to do for this is basically make rows and columns. Okay. Okay. Three rows and columns like this. Mm 
Oops. Okay, let's just do here. Okay, so it should be like this, three rows and columns. As soon as the audio is played, okay, as soon as the audio is played, let's say, let me play an audio. Okay, it should play now. The internet is a bit slow. Just give me one minute, guys. Internet is really, really slow. It's if car insurance falls. Me blue whales, which okay, start playing. Okay, so as one as of I... several subspecies of blue whales spend their lives in the vast expanses of the Indian and Southern Pacific Oceans. They were first identified as a distinct subspecies in 1966. Before then, they were probably confused with the Antarctic or true blue whale. So it's only recently that researchers have started to learn about them and their migrations to and from their breeding and feeding grounds. Scientists are interested in pygmy blue whales because although they are a very mobile subspecies, 
Very little is known about their movements and their populations. Large scale movements of whales are particularly hard to study. And what we do know about pygmy blue whales, we've mainly learned from examining whaling records. Okay, so this is what you have to do. You have to write words in your rows and columns. And then as soon as um, the recording starts, what you have to do is first the lecture was about. So what was it talking about? Whales. So you can say the lecture was about whales. The speaker talks about whales, lives and spend. The speaker talks about oceans, species in 1966. The speaker talks about confused true and blue whale. The speaker talks about migration, breeding and feeding. The speaker talks about mobile subspecies. The speaker talks about movement in large scale. The speaker talks about hard study and examining. Overall, the lecture is very informative or the lecture gives a lot of information. Okay? Can I ask a question? about the migration. All right. Just give me... Sure, stated. In 1966, it's scientists have started to learn about the breeding and feeding grounds of pygmy blue whales. The lecturer also... Yes, Kimberly? But uh, this doesn't like... Uh, if, you say, if you say the lecture talks about and all that, and then it doesn't flow in a sequence when you get marks for the sequence. Why do you add and to make it sound like a sentence? Now, if you say the lecture was about ocean species in 1996, that will be in a flow. But if you say the lecture was about oceans, species, 1966. So you take a gap between the words, then it's not going to sound like a sentence. And that's when you will miss marks. Then it's not the actual, like, they said the lecture, the study was done in 1966 and the ocean species of blue whale. It doesn't have to make sense. Now, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It didn't make sense. Actually. Yes, it doesn't have to make sense because it's a software. So softwares are programmed certain ways, okay? Now, how does PT software gives you marks is how you will structure your retail lecture around it, okay? So for example, in PT, the software marks you based on contents. What are contents for the software? It's just keywords from your audio, okay? Nothing else. Let's say if I am explaining this whole thing properly, okay? but I'm using a synonym for it, okay? In that case, you will not get any points for your content. Oh, okay. Even though you're explaining the best, even though you have explained everything correctly, but it's not according to the software. Now the software does not have any filter for grammar in this question, okay? And that's why um, you can mess up with grammar as long as you are giving all the keywords, you will get full points. Okay. 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 Yep. Okay. So let's start practicing. Rahul, did you understand how to do this question? Any doubt? Yes, Rahul, are you ready to go? Ready to start practice? Okay, we'll see. Let's play the first audio. In this talk, I'm going to give some advice on how to present a seminar paper. At one time, most university teaching took the form of giving formal lectures. Nowadays, many university teachers try to involve their students more actively in the learning process. One of the ways in which this is done is by conducting seminars. In a seminar, what usually happens is this. One student is chosen to give his ideas on a certain topic. These ideas are then discussed by the other students, the participants in the seminar. What I'd like to discuss with you today is the techniques of presenting a paper at a seminar. As you know, there are two main stages involved in this. One is the preparation stage, which involves researching and writing up a topic. The other stage is the presentation stage, when you actually present the paper to your audience.
Okay, Kimberly, you can go for Try, it. yeah. Uh, in the lecture, the speaker talks about giving advice as to how students have to present seminar papers. Earlier lectures were previously uh, given and uh, it was just a one-sided learning. However, now there is active ways of learning and one of the active ways is by giving a seminar where ideas of students are discussed in the, in the class and techniques are there for presenting a seminar paper. And in, there are two stages for presenting, that is preparation and presentation stage. In conclusion, this was a very interesting lecture about how to present for a seminar. Okay. Yes, very good. Rahul, did you write anything for this one? Sorry? Did you write anything for this question? Um, yes. Okay, you can try. It doesn't matter. As long as we have few words, we'll work on it. Okay? Okay. Okay. So just tell me what words you have written. University. Mm -hmm. uh, lecture. Mm -hmm. Seminar. Good. Um, audience. Yeah. Good. Learning. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll play another audio and try to write more words in it. Okay. Okay. Today, 150,000 farmers in India have committed suicide in areas where seed has been destroyed, where they have to buy the seed from Monsanto and buy it every year at very, very high cost. And that high cost seed is getting them into debt and that debt is pushing them to suicide. What we've done is create community seed banks, places where we collect and save seeds, rescue them from disappearance, multiply them and then distribute them according to farmers' needs. And about 40 community seed banks have been created across the length and breadth of India. Places where these have been created, farmers are not in distress because the biggest cost today is seeds and chemicals. These seed banks have now been a new place where we can respond to the new crisis of globalization on the one hand and climate change on the other. Globalization has led to farmer suicides. We are able to take seeds to these suicide zones and distribute the seeds so that farmers can break out of that dependency, grow food crops, get out of debt. We've been able to create community seed banks to deal with climate change, with the extreme flooding, the new droughts, the cyclones, the hurricanes that lead to salinization. And today for us, the work on seed has become the place from where we are responding to the worst tragedies and the worst crises of our times. Okay, you, Kimberly, you can go first. Lecture, the speaker was talking about there being over 150 farmer suicides and this has occurred because seeds have been destroyed and farmers uh, spend a lot of uh, money in buying. However, now they have come up with an idea of community seed banks. There are 40 community seed banks uh, in the length and breadth of India. And uh, these provide seeds and chemical fertilizers at a lower cost. And there has been globalization and climate changes. So these seed banks help the farmers cope with these changes and grow fruit crops and get out of debt and become more self-responsible. And this is the way they are responding to the climate change. Yes, good. Rahul, did you write anything? Mm, yes, ma'am. Okay. Say what words you have written. Ma'am, mm. 150 suicide. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, death and uh, suicide, farmers, mm -hmm. Indian farmers, seeds and uh, chemicals, yes. food crop, yes. responding. Good. And? 
Okay. So yes. now what you have to do is all you have to do is all the words that you have written. Okay. okay. You have to say the speaker talks about and three of your words. Then again, speaker talks about then three of your words. Now okay. do this way. How much ever word you have written? Do this way for it. The speaker talks about one fifty. Yes. One fifty for suicide. Yes. The speaker. The speaker talk about uh, mm -hmm. deaths and suicide. Yes. Good. The speakers. Uh, our talk about uh, uh, Indian farmers. Yeah. The speaker talk about uh, about uh, seed and chemical. Mm -hmm. The speaker uh, talk about uh, grow food crop. Mm -hmm. The speaker uh, talk about uh, responding. Yes, yes, very good. Good try. Okay, let's do a couple more. Okay. This is Hans Krebs, who in 1937 published a paper showing the sequence of chemical reactions by which energy is released in individual cells. Um, it's called the Krebs cycle, which some of you may remember from your chemistry course in high school. Krebs is a wonderful example to me of how a scientist who is determined can overcome all kinds of human obstacles. Krebs' father constantly discouraged him and told him that he had just mediocre intelligence and would never do anything important in his life as a teenager. Uh, what Krebs remembers in his memoir, his father said to him, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And later on, when Krebs studied with the great biochemist Otto Warburg. Warburg also told him the same thing, um, not the same quote, but that he had only mediocre ability and would never be a great scientist. And we all hear about how important it is for parents to encourage their children, but sometimes the children will go on to do great things no matter what we say to them. Okay, Kimberly? lecture the speaker was talking about Hans Krebs who is a scientist who invented the sequence for chemical reaction for energy release and what people have studied is the Krebs cycle it shows that how he overcame the human obstacle that his father uh, and he was constantly ridiculed by his father and his father said he would do nothing and he would uh, not do, do well in life and this he also experienced when he was studying under a biochemist, Arthur Wardberg, that he was told that he has mediocre ability and people put him down. But it is said that uh, parents should encourage their children to do well in life. However, this example shows that uh, ch children go on to do great things even if they are not given the encouragement in life. Yes, good. Okay. Rahul, did you write anything for this? We will try at least say a few words. Nineteen thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. uh, our sleep. Yes. Uh, scientist. Mm -hmm. Good. Study biological. Uh, never be a scientist. Never be a scientist. Mm -hmm. Parents to children. Mm -hmm. Experience. Okay. Good. Okay. Keep practicing. Just write few words for now. Once you get used to words, then we'll do free practice. Okay. Okay.
I will practice. Okay. Okay. Next one. Can't could you please put it louder? It's not loud. It's Wilson came then from a different world, and he became the focal point of a broad mainstream American culture that thought that modern literature and wanted modern literature to be able to be read and appreciated by ordinary people. They were not modernists in an abstract sense, and certainly some of them, like T.S. Eliot and Faulkner, were too difficult for some of their writings to be read by ordinary people, but this was a world before the division between the brows or between elite or whatever had established itself as part of our consciousness. Wilson was a major player in the successful effort of his generation to establish at the heart of American life an innovative literature that would equal the great cultures of Europe. And he knew that the great cultures of Europe were there. He was not a product of a narrow American study kind of training at all. He joined a high artistic standard with an openness to all experience and a belief that literature was as much a part <clears throat> of life for everyone as conversation. He thought that Proust and Joyce and Yeats and Eliot could and should be read by ordinary Americans and help that to happen. Wilson was a very various man. Over a period of almost 50 years, he was a dedicated a literary journalist, an investigative reporter, a brilliant memoirist, and dedicated journal keeper. Okay. Yes, Kimberly. In this lecture, the speaker was talking about Mr. Wilson, who, who can I just prepare for some time and then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. this kind of order is there in your test. Try to just write keywords. Don't frame proper sentences because it will take a lot of time and you'll hesitate a lot. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keywords and don't make sense of what you're saying. Just give computer the keyword if you want. Okay. But for now, just take your time. And yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, in this lecture, the lecturer spoke about Mr. Wilson, whose focal point was modern literature. And this was not the focal point of many artists that was Faulkner and other artists. And he felt that modern literature had to be accessed by the general public. And it was a way of life. And he was a, a person who was in, instrumental in innovating modern literature. He was a person who had various interests, like he was a journalist, a media writer, and a literally a journal keeper. And in conclusion, this information provides an overview of his life. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was short. If you speak for less than 30 seconds, you'll miss points. Okay, so you can repeat the information but not speak for less than 30 seconds. Okay? okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do another audio. Thermodynamics. All right, let's start. Thermodynamics is the science of the flow of heat. So thermo is heat. Dynamics is the motion. Of heat. Thermodynamics was developed uh, largely beginning in the 1800s, at the time of the Industrial Revolution. It's the taming of, the st of steel, the beginning of generating uh, power by burning fossil fuels, uh, the beginning of the problems with CO2 and the global warming. In fact. It's interesting to note that the first calculation on um, the impact of CO2 on climate was done in the late 1800s by Arrhenius, beginning of the generation of power moving heat from fossil fuel to generating energy, locomotives, etc. So he calculated what would happen to this 
burning of fossil fuels. And um, he decided in his calculation, he basically got the calculation right, by the way. But he came out that in 2,000 years from the time that he did the calculations, humans would be in trouble. Okay. Kimberly, whenever you're ready. Lecture. The lecturer was talking about thermodynamics. Thermo is heat and dynamics is the way heat operates and it tells you about the flow of heat. This uh, concept was developed in the 1800s at the time of the Industrial Revolution. In the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, there was a burning of fossil fuels and uh, there were a lot of CO2 emissions that took place. So a person known as Arrhenius studied the impact of these CO2 emissions. He also studied the impact of what moving heat could cause to the atmosphere and climate change. And he said that in 2000 years, humans would be in serious trouble if they had not changed their ways. And these, uh, these are coming through right now. In conclusion, this is a very interesting lecture about thermodynamics. Okay, very good. Rahul, did you write anything? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Say the words that you have written. Mm, ma'am, science name? Mm -hmm. Science? Yeah. 18,000. Genetic, genetic energy. Okay. Yeah. Mm, Two thousand. Okay. Only one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Keep practicing. Good. Yes, ma'am. Better than before. Just write more words. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Last audio. Absolutely. There's a lot of interest in what forms those clouds. Why are those clouds there? Why do they stick around? At the center of every cloud drop is a particle. You can't grow a cloud drop without having a particle there for the water to condense on. The key questions that people have not directly addressed until very recently is what actually forms those clouds. And so the ones that you're looking at over the ocean, it turns out sea salt is a very effective nucleator for forming clouds. So there's a really good chance that those are loaded with sea salt. But as you go inland, you start to have pollution come from all different kinds of sources. And so different sources form clouds more effectively than others. And we're trying to unravel which sources are actually contributing to the clouds. The clouds are incredibly important players in climate change and that they reflect the light back to space. And so they're keeping things much, much cooler than they would be if they weren't there. They also play a huge role in regional weather. So we're actually starting to see shifts where having more pollution input into the clouds is affecting weather patterns. And in particular, it's actually reducing the amount of precipitation. So we're starting to see drought in areas with super high levels of air pollution. Okay, Kimberly, whenever you're ready. In this lecture, the lecturer is discussing about how clouds form and the reason why clouds form. And the clouds are formed by a particle, and this can be a small dust particle or a sea salt particle. That is the basis for the forming of the clouds. Over the ocean, the clouds are mainly formed with sea salt and particles. Inland, there are different sources of particles. There is pollution that is a main source for particles. And these clouds help to prevent global warming. And these clouds move to regional areas and might affect the drought prone regions. And they could even lead to droughts because it could reduce rainfalls and weather patterns. And this plays a crucial impact in the growth of farms in regional areas. In conclusion, this is a very interesting lecture about the formation of clouds. Okay, very good. Okay, Rahul. What is the things that you have written? Mm. Clouds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Pollution. Different time. Backspace. Mm -hmm. 
having more pollution, high level pollution. Okay. Global warming. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Then. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so at least as long as you understand how to do it, keep practicing, you will improve eventually. Okay. Okay. Okay, next is. Next, we are going to practice answer short question. In answer short question, you have one simple question that is asked. It can be anything as simple as um, what do you make in business, profit or loss? So like profit. Um, so things like very basic questions. Um, it will be one point each. 0 0.5 will be awarded to speaking, 0 0.5 towards your listening module. Okay. So we'll be practicing few of those right now so that you get an idea that what kind of questions are there. It's very, very easy. So we'll practice quite a few so that you don't have to do later on. Okay. Rahul, for you, I will ask you to memorize what is all of them because this will be easy 10 points for you. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Let's start. What is the external organs used for hearing? Yours. Yes. Did you hear the question, Rahul? Mm, yes, ma'am. Okay, what was it? What is the external organ used for hearing? What is it? How do you hear things? With ear, right? Okay. Yes, with ears. Okay, next one. What is the opposite of the word public? Private. Private, yes. What is the opposite of the word public? It's private. Okay. okay next. What is the boat that carries people from one side of a river to the other? Ferry. Ferry, yes. Name of what is the boat that carries people from one side of the river to other side? It's a ferry. Okay, next. What do you call the people who visit sightseeing locations? Tourists. Yes. What do you call the people who visit sightseeing locations? Tourists. Okay, next one. Where on campus are the periodical collections located? I have no idea. Maybe in the library? Okay. Yes, where on the campus are periodical collections located? Library. Next. How do you call the buildings of a university or college and the land around them? Campus? Campus, yes. How do you call the buildings of a university or college and the land around them? Next. How do you call the money that you pay in advance for receiving newspapers or journals? Advance? No, subscription. Oh, subscription. Yes. How do you call the money that you pay in advance for receiving newspapers or journals? Subscription. Subscription. How many sides does an octagon have? Eight. Eight, yes. What do you call the persons who study religions? Priest? No, theologists. Theologists, theologians. Yes. What do you call the person who study religion? Theologist. Yes. yes. Next. What do you call the food made without applying chemicals or artificial additives? Organic food. Yes. What do you call the food made without applying chemicals or artificial additives? Organic food. 
Next. If a conference is held annually, how often is it held? Once a year. Once a year, yes. If a conference is held annually, how often is it held? Once a year. If you are celebrating a biannual activity, how many years ago did you celebrate it last time? Two years ago. Half a year. If you're celebrating a biannual activity, that means it happens twice in a year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How many years ago did you celebrate it last time? Half a year. Half a year, yeah, yeah. What gas will be generated from the boiling water? Steam. Steam. Yes. What gas will be generated from boiling water? Steam. What is the line where the sky meets the land? Horizon. Or skyline. What is the line where sky meets the land? Horizon or skyline? Next. What animal is a shepherd responsible for? Sheep. Yes. What animals is a shepherd responsible for? Sheep or goats? Goats would be correct. What do people with claustrophobia fear? Closed rooms. Yeah, or small spaces or confined space. What clothing do people wear, such as students or nurses? Uniforms. Yes, what, do, what clothing do people wear, such as students or nurses? Uniforms. <laughs> Next. In what room do scientists usually do experiments? Laboratories. Yes. What is the tool that is used for shopping goods? Shopping bag. Yeah, uh, trolley. What unit do we use to measure temperature? Thermometer. Yes, thermometer. Oh, sorry. What unit do we use to measure temperature? Unit would be Celsius or... Celsius or Fahrenheit. Yes, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Correct. How do we call the people who study animals and plants? Veterinarians. Biologists, because animals is veterinary and, studies, right? And plants. Okay. How do we call the people who study animals and plants? Biologists. Okay. And animal study is, is zoology. Veterinarians are doctors of animals. Okay. Next. What will students receive at the end of the term? A degree or a certificate. I don't know which one you want to say. Yes, transcript. Transcript. Next. What do we call a person who thinks only for himself or herself? Selfish. Selfish, yes. What do we call the state of having a lot of fat in one's body? Obe yes, obesity. What is pale yellow in the desert? Sand. Yes. Where can we read a book electronically? Online or in the e-library? Yes, online library. What do we call the subject that studies weather and temperature? 
Meteorological studies. Yes, meteorol meteorology. Meteorology. Yes. Final question. What are the first three letters of the English language? A B C. <laughs> it's like. Yes, A B C. Yes. Okay, so understood, Saran, how the questions are. I will share the website where you can do all these questions. I mean, Rahul. Yes. Okay, I'll share Rahul all this um, the website with you. You can practice it there. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, you guys? No, ma'am. Okay. So, so that's it for today. Uh, Aman will be taking class again tomorrow, and I will be taking on Sunday. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All good. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Right. Bye. Bye.